Okay, so for this recipe, you'll need just fettuccine noodles, chicken breast, Parmesan cheese, heavy whipping cream, salt, pepper, minced garlic, garlic powder, and onion powder, and then as well as whatever size you want to use. So with the chicken, you just want to make sure that you're either cutting them into thin strips or um, smaller chunks. That way you know they're cooking evenly in the pan. Okay, so now you're just gonna add some olive oil into the pan, as well as some minced garlic. I do put a couple teaspoons in there just because my family does like garlic, but you just put whatever your preference is inside the recipe. Um, so once the garlic starts to saute, you can go ahead and add your chicken into the pan. Um, just make sure you spread the chicken on evenly, and then you can go ahead and add the seasonings on top of the chicken. And again, I just use salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Um. So once the chicken is fully cooked on that side, you can go ahead and flip it over. Um, and then while my chicken is cooking on the other side, I will go ahead and add the pasta to the boiling water. And that was a complete fail when I add the pasta in there. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to go in and mix up the chicken. That way the seasoning is evenly coated around the chicken. And I will remove the chicken from the pan so I can go ahead and start making the alfredo sauce. So at this point, you can go ahead and put the heavy whipping cream into the pan um, and then you can remove the chicken drippings if you would like. I just find it gives the sauce more flavor, so that is your choice. Uh, and then you can go ahead and just add some garlic powder, a pinch of salt and some pepper to the heavy whipping cream. And do not forget to stir the pasta. Once your sauce starts to um, boil a bit, you can go ahead and mix it in, that way it doesn't burn. And then at this point, you can go and add the Parmesan cheese into the pan. Once you add the cheese into the pan, just stir it for a bit, that way the cheese doesn't stick to the bottom. So once the heavy whipping cream and the Parmesan cheese come to a good simmer and the sauce gets thick, you can go ahead and add your chicken back into the sauce and just mix it all together. After the chicken is added to the sauce, you can go ahead and put the cooked pasta inside and just mix it all together. Um, and then once you mix everything together, I did cut up some parsley and sprinkle that on top. You definitely don't have to do that. That's optional. Um, but I do like parsley. Okay, so that's it for this cook with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this cook with me. Now let's get the cleaning started.
Trouble, baby, and I can't breathe. 